Hey there friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's Day in the Life video, I'm gonna be sharing my new summer reads, another new and delicious chicken tender recipe, my new gorgeous tote bag, and exciting news that we cannot wait to share this coming fall. If you're new to our channel, my name is Karen, and welcome. We would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe for more decorating, cooking, and Day in the Life videos. Hi friends, welcome back to our channel and welcome to the Days in the Life videos here with me. Uh, I'm out here, you guys probably think, does she ever leave her patio? I do at night, I promise you. But it really has been the most amazing span of glorious weather for the last two weeks. I don't think we've had a drop of rain. So I have been soaking it up as much as possible because sometimes we'll have those spurts where it will rain for days so I'm taking full advantage of the days that we have this gorgeous blue sky and beautiful weather. So we're gonna be heading out here shortly. We have our first bocce game of the season. And um, if you guys have followed us for a long time, you know how much we love our bocce. Uh, we have so much fun and we don't care if we win or lose, but it's always fun. And I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for those that are new here to our channel. Um, they've done so many improvements and I can't wait to see what they've changed. And we're gonna go have dinner first and talk about gardening. Their flowers are absolutely beautiful. That's a gardener's dream. So I can't wait to share all that with all of you. Um, but also, I sure if you guys didn't watch my Amazon video, make sure you check it out. But these glasses with the glass straw, which I love glass straws, um, I've been drinking passion tea with frozen peaches and fresh mint from my garden. Then once the, once the tea is gone, I just add some more water and you can still taste the peach and the fresh mint. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I've been sucking this down, keep filling it up all day today. Um, but also I want to let you know, so um, as you know, we're going to be heading Mark and I to Italy here soon. So I got a few more videos I'm trying to pre-film for all of you. Uh, I want to be doing another kind of a summary fun video and then i'm going to do a video you guys have asked so um let me know if you're interested because if you're not i'm not going to waste my time doing it but i was going to film a video of what i'm packing um for italy and uh, like outfits um necessities kind of things that you need to tap you know pack when you're going out of the country those kind of things so i was going to pack something like i mean going to film something like that uh for all of you and um so hopefully you will like that i'm going to take one week off of course while i'm in italy um to not have a video come out and lauren's going to take that week vacation as well and then when i come home from italy i'm going to do uh have an italy vlog for all of you so i'm going to bring you all with me to venice rome florence and the amalfi coast so i'm really excited about that friends i really am um i think it's going to be just so much fun so speaking of kind of summer and vacations i thought i would share with you some summer reads um you're gonna crack up when I show you a couple of these, but, and I know it may be not be summer necessarily where you live if you're watching this, um, but hopefully uh, you can just cuddle, cuddle up somewhere and enjoy some reads. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some of these books with all of you. You know, and I apologize, I've got a new camera and the viewfinder used to be above and now it's off to the side and I find myself looking at the viewfinder ex instead of straight ahead. So if you see me doing that, it's just a habit. I, and I apologize for that. I noticed my Amazon video was like looking off to the side the entire time because that's where the viewfinder is. But anyway, okay, so let's get started on some of these books. Okay, so the one I picked up, um, and this one actually was, um, if you all watch Darling Desi, she's just adorable and she visited all kinds of bookstores in New York City and when Mark and I go we're gonna be in New York City for about 24 hours uh, before we head out actually yeah about 20 now almost 48 hours before we head out to um, Venice and so I do want to go to some of the bookstores that she mentioned because my husband loves to read I mean loves to read and he's like yes let's go visit some of those when we go to New York so the one book that she suggested is when in Rome right here and basically this is a modern take on the Audrey Hepburn classic Roman holiday it's a quick fun slow burn rom-com so um, I picked this one up so you know 
you guys follow, you know how I really like to listen to audibles. And uh, so I did download an audible and, um, and that one is called, it's also by Sarah Adams. Um, practice makes perfect or something like that. I'll list it below. Um, but anyway, I'm listening to that one um, by also by Sarah Adams and that so far that one is super cute. So I'm really loving it. Um, but anyway, this is another read I'm going to be trying to get into this summer. Um, okay, you all, you know, I've been really again, starting with these new hobbies of trying to be a gardener and also really getting into reading, which my mother is so excited about, and my sister who loves to read, and my husband, which is so great. Um, but I picked up this book because the lady at Barnes & Noble talked me into it. And I'm not saying that I'm not up, that I'm upset by it because truly this is awesome. But friends, if I can get through this entire book, it will be a miracle. But it's my goal for 2023. You ready? Look at this. Look at this book, okay? So this is Jane Austen, Seven Novels. So let's see. It's a treasury of Jane Austen's best love works, loved works. So Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, which I love, 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 love that movie. Um, Mansfield Park, Emma, North, Northanger Abbey, Persuasion and Lady Susan. So all, all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books are in here. And look at how beautiful this is. So, um, so here you go. Wow. And it's small print. So you really need your glasses. At least I do. Um, I did start, um, Sense and Sensibility. Okay. So this is this one. And you know what? It was $30. So I thought this was a great value. That's why the lady at Barnes and Noble shared this one with me. Okay, so these are a few. Um, one of you uh, told me about this one since we're going to Italy, and I bought this book last year and never opened it. And this one is The Star Cross Sisters of Tuscany. And I'm like, I have that book. Uh, so I'm really excited about reading this book. Oh my goodness. Um, and let me see, who is the author? Laura Nelson Spillman. And uh, it's a delicious modern fairy tale, Bella. Adriana Triganani, if I'm saying it right. New York best time selling author of Tony's Wife. I met her in person. Actually, Lauren and I met her in person and have a book signed by her. Uh, she is hilarious. I love her. Um, anyway, so this book here, two other books that I actually had from last summer that, you know, they're so fun and it's fun to, to revisit. Uh, Jennifer Weiner, A Big Summer. And this one here, um, let's see, do, 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 do. what's this one about? After six years, um, six years after the fight that ended their friendship, Daphne Berg is shocked when Drew Kavanaugh walks back into her life, looking as lovely and successful as ever with a massive favor to ask. Daphne hasn't spoken one word to Drew in all this time. She doesn't even hate follow her ex-friend, best friend, on social media. So when Drew asks if she will be her maid of honor at the society wedding of the summer, Daphne is rightfully speechless. So anyway, okay, so this is one. And then, um, of course, the Hotel Nantucket. I think this was a sort of popular one, was it last year? And um, there you have it. So those are Karen's lots of summer reads or audibles whatever you choose um but i wanted to share this with all of you okay so what's going to go on in this days of life let's see what are we going to do so tonight we're going to go to bocce we're going to have dinner um tomorrow um oh oh my gosh friends okay i want to wait you're going to have to wait till tomorrow because i have such a huge announcement to share with you all that lauren and i are so pumped about and really truly it's because of all of you because we had so many people in the last few years ask us so stay tuned for that announcement tomorrow you guys i am so sorry the the pollen out here is so bad that i literally want to sneeze now like i'm literally 
could scratch my nose off. It's so itchy right now. Well, friends, I'm going to go finish this. I'm going to start digging a little bit more into my long, big, thick book here. And uh, just enjoy being out here. Mark is showering. And then we're going to head out to the Lake Club. And I'm going to share with you just how beautiful everything is. They've changed a lot, which I have not seen yet. It's just a beautiful place to go. So um, just enjoy the scenery. And I always love to take my friends along with me. So we'll be heading out here soon. Good morning, friends. Mark and I are gonna be heading out of town for the evening and I had this chicken in the fridge and I wanted to make sure that I use it up. So I'm gonna make this delicious and simple chicken tender recipe that I saw on Instagram. And it's just using some barbecue sauce and some seasonings. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in some corn flakes to make it all yummy and crunchy and go ahead and put it into the air fryer and I thought this would be perfect for Mark and I to nibble on before we head out of town today. Good morning, friends. Another beautiful day today. I'm gonna head out and get Archie to the groomer. I have a nail appointment, and I'm gonna take this camera that you guys are seeing right now. It's new and I do love it, but there's a few features I'm not quite sure how to use, so I, if I have time, I'm gonna go to the place that I bought it and have them just help me out a little bit with some settings, and then come home, pack real quick, and Mark and I are gonna head to Cleveland. We're gonna spend the night with Zach, Lindsay, and Maura tonight. It's gonna be so fun. Zach has the best menu that he's cooking up for dinner tonight. We're gonna sit on the patio by the, the fire pit, have a glass of wine, and then tomorrow we're gonna get up and Mark's gonna help do some landscaping, and Lindsay and I are gonna hang out with the baby. So we are so excited. It's gonna be so perfect, and uh, just a beautiful, uh, 24 hours that we're gonna be there hanging out with them, so we cannot wait. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys also, my friend Micheline for Mish Mish Mocks, and I know I shared with you guys before, the really adorable um, moccasins that she makes, they are unbelievable. But this bag, I gotta show you guys this bag. This bag is so stunning, I absolutely love it. Mara said, Karen, that's like an amazing quality leather bag. And I said, I know, I love it. So let me show you guys, this is so gorgeous. Look at this bag, friends, how pretty this is. I love it so much, and it's super wide inside, I'll show you. But anyway, she gifted me this one and Lauren one, and because we helped her with some stuff, and um, she's just such a sweetheart. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys how she is just expanding her uh, website to not just um, moccasins for toddlers, babies and toddlers, 
but she's going to be adding a crossbody here soon. Again, this beautiful purse, the cutest, most beautiful leather bows uh, for babies. Um, so she's going to give us a discount code for 15% off. And uh, I wanted you all to check it out. I know some of you have bought in the moccasins in the past. All of our grandbabies have some of the moccasins. I'm going to show you the newest ones. I'm here. Well, I'm going to go pick them up from her, actually. I got a few new ones for the, grand, the new grandbabies. Giada and Capri already have been wearing theirs. and uh, But we need some for Gemma, CJ, and Mora. So I'm going to go grab those today. But I wanted to show this bag. I, this is just so fabulous. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. But I wanted to share this with you. All right, friends. I want to show you how cute these moccasins are. Micheline dropped these off for the kids and I haven't seen them yet, so Okay, let's see Oh my gosh, I'm just taking peeks to see if I know boy or girl here Okay, oh my goodness. All right, so it looks like this is a little girl and look at how beautiful these are Oh my goodness Oh my goodness, look at how cute. Oh, I love the beautiful hues of the purple and aqua and the blues and lavender. Oh my gosh, look at the detailing and the little scallop on top. And it has premium leather hair. So this is the one pair. Oh my gosh, the girls are going to love these. Okay. I'm gonna put them back nicely when I give them to our girls, our mommies, to give to the babies. Oh goodness, look at this beautiful pair. Oh my gosh, gold, I love the gold too. They're gonna have to fight over them. <laughs> With the scalloped also. And this one has also the scalloping here. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I think these must be little CJs. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at how cute. Of course, no scalloping, a little bit different um, here of a cutout because he's a little boy. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so beautiful. Well, hello there, friends. Well, it's the next day and we had the most wonderful time in Cleveland, visiting Zach and Lindsay in beautiful Mora. What a personality she has. She's just so precious, MVT. Uh, she's just, um, she's just adorable. Uh, so, and let me tell you, Zach has become quite the chef. He loves to find recipes like myself on Instagram. And uh, he whipped up, I think I shared the menu with all of you like a couple clips back. It was so, fabulous like amazing and he was having so much joy and passion and just watching him put this meal together and the dessert was out of this world mark and i just we smile it, it just it's just wonderful Lindsay is such a beautiful little mummy and uh it was just um just a wonderful time so we are back and i wanted to share with you what the big announcement is because i know you all been waiting um, and really, truly, friends, this has come from all of you because you guys have DM'd and emailed and asked Laura and I questions. And after you all had suggested this a while back, Laura and I decided we're going to go ahead and do it. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a recipe ebook. We're going to do one for the first one that's going to come out. It's going to be for the fall season. So we're going to share some of our favorite fall recipes. Of course, ones that we've shared, new ones with all of you. Um, we're also going to do a little extra bonus. So we're going to add some like little decorating tips in there as well. So we're going to have four ebooks coming out. One for the fall, one will be in the winter, one in the spring, one in the summer. Because it's going to take us time to get all this together. You always been asking, like you saw a certain recipe from a video. Hey, can you help me? I know you talked about this recipe. I, recipe, I can't find it. And this way we can... Well, we'll just have it all ready for you all in one simple click and ebook. Um, remember, we're not writers, so we're going to be just sharing some photos of the stuff that we've made, the recipes. Like I said, a little decorating tip. It's going to be so fun, and we are 
We are so excited. So if you're excited about that, let us please know in the comment section. Please let us know. Um, it's going to be a lot of work, but we are excited about it and uh, can't wait to get started when I get back from Italy. So that's the big announcement. Next, I want to thank all of you. I asked the question in my last video, what was your number one gardening tip? And you all flooded my comment section with the best tips. And I have learned so much. And it's going to be a video that I'm going to refer back to for years to come. And I think, again, I think some of you probably learn from each other. That's why I feel so blessed. I love our orchids community. You all are just wonderful. You're wonderful. So on that note, I want to continue to ask like one question. And I normally ask questions during my videos, but I just want to ask one specific question that our orchids family can really learn a lot from. And, um, and I think that's, you know, something that it just keeps us together as like a friendship, I think. You know, we all communicate with one another. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that. But you all, or it's not you all, but some of you suggested an other YouTuber, Linda Vader. And now I've been binge watching her videos. And I watched her video the other day, and I love this one thing that she does. I, she also asks a question, which is awesome. But there's one thing I want to adopt from her videos. And um, it was a section where she shared what she learned the past week. And I really liked that idea. I thought, well, that's so super cool. So I want to adopt it and share with you what I learned last week. And this is that. Basically, that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still find passion and joy in a hobby. Um, I would have never thought in a million years that I would turn into a in-training gardener <laughs> and someone that loved to read because honestly, friends, my husband loves to read. I said, my sister, my mom, it was never nothing, you know, anything I was interested in. I would like look at a magazine and browse, but loving to read to me, it just takes you to another magical place. And, um, so what I've learned is you're never too old to find passion in something and a hobby and something that just ignites that fire. So my question though, to you for this week is, what is it that ignites your fire, that makes you want to get out of bed, that gets you excited? And I know I've asked this question before, but I want you to really think about it. And if you're sitting back thinking, well, I just don't know. Well, just think about something that you want to learn. Is it photography? Is it writing? Uh, is it reading like me? You know, not learn, but you want to start doing. Is it a hobby that you want to try? Um, is it maybe doing some work for um, an organization, um, giving back, whatever it is. I want you all to really think about that. And I want you to share also with us in the comment section. And let's start a really great conversation. And maybe someone, whatever they share, will be something that would ignite you. So let me know, please. Um, again, I love our Orchids family and I feel so blessed. I've met so many great friends through our YouTube channel. Uh, I was talking to my sweet friend Dodie. Hey, Dodie. I would have never met her if it wasn't via our channel. And we've never yet met in person. We have so much in common. So um, it's just a place. I feel like every time I've been here outside, there's plants. And we do have a little airport near us, but I've never seen or heard so much um, airplane traffic. I feel like I'm living back in Pittsburgh again. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I just feel blessed of our community and the friendships that I've made. And uh, I think some of you will make some friends here just even in the comment section. And who knows? Who knows? Um, but next I want to share with you, though, we're going to go inside for a minute because um, Lauren and I did a pilot program for YouTube. And if you notice when you watch some of our videos, it will say like products mentioned or something like that. You can click right on it, like right in the screen here. Well, we did that pilot program with YouTube and it was very successful. So YouTube sent us out, because we were in the program, this sign. I have to show it to you. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but because it came from YouTube, which is sort of exciting, um, it's in my office. So I'm going to show that to you here in a minute. I'm going to whip up a little breakfast and I'm going to call this a, a decent lot video because I feel like I've talked way too long. But I know some of you said you really missed when I was chit-chatting with all of you and just having a conversation with friends and I really sort of want to get back to that too. So, okay, let's head inside. So here it is, shop with YouTube. <laughs> this is what we received from YouTube for participating in the pilot program. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with it, but 
super cool. Uh, hey, anytime you get something like this or, you know, from YouTube, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> uh, you know, so Lauren can keep it at her house for a while. I can keep it here for a while. Hey, whatever works. But I wanted to share this with you. Friends, I wanted to take a few minutes just to share a little bit with you guys how gorgeous this bag is and how much room is in it. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick what's in my bag here. So my makeup bag, all my essentials that I need on the go. And sunglasses, which I probably should be putting on right now because it is very sunny and I'm squinting. I don't want to be squinting. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, oh gosh, that feels so much better. Okay, sunglasses and my keys here. And let's see what I have. These are just like cards that I keep in here, some cash and like uh, my insurance cards and stuff like that. And then this is just my every day kind of use debit cards and stuff like that and my little mini bible i love my little mini bible love that so i keep that in my bag and oh grandma tissues <laughs> gotta have tissues uh so tissues and what else oh, oh that's for that little lip gloss or lipstick i want my steely steela bassy which i need to put in my bag here but Again, you guys, this is so nice and roomy. Uh, look at how big this is. And again, I could go ahead and clasp this together to give it that kind of more of a kind of a toty look. Well, you know, bucket kind of a purse look, I should say. Or if it's undone, you can have it like this. I love it. It is so gorgeous. And, uh, I just love, I love using it. I absolutely love it and it smells so good. You can tell this is really good leather. So I wanted to share that with all of you. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a Days in the Life video. Um, I'm gonna enjoy some time out here this afternoon. It's actually not that hot at all. It's probably gonna be in the mid 70s, it's perfect. Uh, I got another flower letter, so I'm gonna, I can't wait to read this one today, and I'm finally going to get into the owner and the wife book, so I'm very excited to get this started today. So that is what I've got going on today, and uh, then I'm going to start filming my next video for all of you. So I love you all so much. Please don't forget to answer the question um, in the um, comment section, because I really love, love, love your feedback, and you know, just feel so blessed for... Uh, our orchids family so i love you all so much and uh, we'll see you next time bye